Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. So, if you're in the UK and like me, uh, the weather has uh, for July has been rather wet, and August is not looking a lot better at the moment. So, um, it's led me to do this video where I'm going to talk about how I protect my electronics in the damp and wet weather from uh, any excessive damage. So stick around and I'll show you how I do it. My name's Glenn, you're watching Astrobloke. So hi everyone and I hope you're keeping well. So recently for me I had um, an old mount out that I hadn't been using for quite some time which was my Skywatcher AZ GTI and it was playing up. It was um, slewing okay but intermittently so it would move a bit, stop, wait, then move again and it was just acting a little bit strangely. Um, I was doing a bit of solar with it so it wasn't critical especially for guiding but it wasn't quite behaving how it should and I think what's happened is some moisture damp has got in there with the electronics and caused a few problems so I'm going to be stripping that mount down and I'm going to use some contact cleaner and I'm going to try and clean it out and get everything working again and once I finish doing that I'm then going to treat the electronics especially the printed circuit board now um, I've only recently learned that uh, this is something that you can do. I wasn't aware of whether or not the manufacturers of telescopes etc, um, you know ZWO with their ASIA or their cameras because they've all got printed circuit boards in them, whether they treat them. And the, what you can treat them with is um, what they call an acrylic conformal coating. So it's uh, non-conductive and basically it puts a, an acrylic uh, clear coat over your electronics. They carry on operating as normal but of course it's going to make moisture extremely difficult to get in there and penetrate and cause any damage. So these are particularly uh, designed for printed circuit boards. So one of the things I'm going to treat now um, and I'm going to do it on, on video is one of my mini PCs. Now, the Mealy Quieter PC, I think, is uh, an, an, an excellent PC for astrophotography because of its cooling method. It doesn't have a fan, so there's no air vents on the PC at all. And what it does, it uses the case to actually cool itself. So it's got like this uh, metal casing and it all gets quite hot. Obviously, by that, getting warm and hot dews not forming on the case so it's very very unlikely you get much moisture around here anyway but you will still get it and I do know someone that's had a problem with their mealy um, where it's been out at night I think it got rained on um, and it caused a few problems but I know these are not the only PCs that people use so some people like to use uh, the Intel NUX and things like that and these do have fans where the computer is cooling with that method there is an opportunity for moisture to get drawn in through an air vent or or through anything else and so you know to protect the electronics that's a good idea so I've had a good read of the instructions and basically 20 centimeters away give it a light spray so it gets a coating and then you must leave it for at least 20 minutes before turning on so um, I'm going to give this a spray and uh, hopefully after I've done that we'll turn it on and everything will be working so you'll, you'll see whether I uh, destroy my mini PC or not and uh, let's really hope I do not. So here's my Mealy Quieter 2 PC and this is uh, what I'm going to be treating today. So I've already removed the screws from the backing and this is the board I'm actually going to spray. So I'm just going to place that down there. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some masking tape around it so that we're not getting any overspray on the external parts because we don't want to coat these because obviously we need an electrical contact with them. So I'm just going to put some tape around that now. The tape's all decided to stick to itself. But that's not a problem, it doesn't have to be overly neat, it's just really just to protect the USBs and other inputs so that we're just spraying 
the area of the board. So after reading the instructions, just give the can a really good shake. And then basically, what we're looking to do is holding it about 20 centimeters away, we just want to give the board a spray. And you can see actually the droplets have formed there on the uh, cooling pad for the M2 card that I've got in there. So what I might do is once that's gone off, I might replace that uh, gel because I've got quite a few of them anyway. Um, but anyway, that's it coated. I can see that it's got like a slight sheen all over it. So we're going to leave that 20 minutes and let that dry. And then I'll put the PC together and we'll check to make sure everything's working. But it really is as simple as a uh, job as that. I do actually have a whole pack of these uh, cooling strips for uh, M2 cards. So um, I did wipe the excess spray off of it, but I thought it's best just to put a nice new one on. And uh, rather than use the one that had the spray all over it. I can never catch the edge of this uh, peel off strip. Here we go. Try not to peel the heat pad. Right, and there's a thermal pad there. Let's just try and reset that in a nicer position. Over the cells. There we go. And I'm just going to leave that open while the spray is drying. Just uh, showing you the board there. I don't know if you can see it's got like a sort of a glossiness across it. That's the spray that's going off now. Okay, so I've treated the mini PC board. I've used uh, this product and I'll put a link in my description below. I bought it from Amazon. Uh, somebody else uh, that's a friend of mine uh, recommended this one. It's by Ambersil. It's an acrylic conformal coating protective electrical lacquer. So um, I will put some details for this uh, below. I've got to wait 20 minutes before it's touch dry. So I'm going to wait that long before I try and test my mini PC. And I'm going to go online in a moment and just have a little look at this to see whether it's something that uh, has a life. You know, do we have to spray it once a year, you know, or maybe more often, or maybe once it's been treated, you can forget about it. I'm not sure. And it'd be interesting to know whether or not um, astrophotography or astro companies um, treat their electrics. Do Skywatcher spray their motherboards with some uh, coating like this to protect the electronics from damp weather? and uh, moisture intrusion or or not I mean who knows so it could be something that you could treat your mounts you could treat your your you know the, the the circuit boards on your cameras your mini PCs all sorts of things but obviously you got to make sure that you're not going to be causing any damage and more importantly you're not going to be spraying it somewhere it doesn't belong um, so you got to be a little bit careful with that and make sure that uh, you're not going to be causing it more problems than you're trying to solve as they would. Right, let's have a look online and see if we can find out some more information about this. So looking online for some research, it looks like once you spray a board it's pretty permanent unless you've got uh, moving parts or something. Uh, the acrylic ones are not very resistant to any form of abrasion. Um, the uh, benefits, there seems to be many. It protects the board, obviously, from moisture, putting a protective barrier over it. Uh, it's much more preferable to having an exposed printed circuit board. It also protects it from things like corrosive and chemical attacks. So, obviously, in, in certain environments, you're going to get things that are going to come in and cause problems, and it's going to reduce those risks. So, it looks like it's going to do the job that I intend it to do, which is mainly protect the board from moisture, dew, uh, humidity etc but it does seem that there is one downside which is should you need a board repaired so it needs soldering or something along those lines the protective coating then causes a slight issue it's going to make it a little bit more timely and costly because you've got to remove that coating to get to the part to do the soldering 
Um, I've never had a part soldered or repaired on any of my Astro uh, equipment. So uh, weighing it up in my head, I think it's better that it's protected and it's got this on it then I'll worry about maybe a USB needing resoldering on or something. So um, I'm still going to go ahead and protect my equipment with this stuff. But I think one statement that's made online that I do like, and it says, all things considered, conformal coatings enhance the PCB's function and protect it from elements and corrosion. So for me, that's a win. Okay, so we're back with the mini PC 20 minutes later after spraying. Well, it's more than 20 minutes. It's uh, definitely touch dry and it's got a lovely little glossy sheen all over it. I don't know if you can see that on the video. Um, uh, I've replaced the cooling pad for the M2 board. These are not expensive. I've got a big pack of these, so well worth investing in that. So the only protection uh, I did was to put some masking tape all the way around the outside so that I didn't get any of the acrylic uh, protective coating on any of the inputs and outputs. Obviously we need them to be able to connect to. Um, and so now really all I need to do is uh, put the case back together, turn it on and make sure everything works. So um, wish me luck, I'm going to uh, put this back together and uh, we're going to plug it in. Okay, so just going to get everything plugged back in. We're going to put the power lead in there and it lit up, so that's a good sign. Put the uh, HDMI there so we can get to the screen. And then turn it on. That was lovely, Windows doing its usual thing, trying to force me onto Microsoft Edge. I'm sorry people, but uh, I use Google Chrome and uh, I'm not about to change. I do find Microsoft Edge a bit intrusive to be honest, they uh, try and force too many things that I don't like. Okay, so as you can see there, the PC is booted up fine, everything seems to be okay. Let's just push low profile, hopefully it'll all load up. And there we have it. So yep, yeah, everything seems to be working okay. So that was that's really good. Um, so there's not really much more to say um, about this. Basically uh, it works fine. Uh, as you can see my mini PC uh, is absolutely uh, operating as it should um, and now hopefully it's got that extra protection from the outside moisture. So I'm going to spend a bit of time now um, just looking at other things that I've got that might need this kind of protection. I'm going to try and do a bit of research um, and see whether or not any of my other equipment comes pre-protected or not. I have a feeling it, it doesn't, uh, especially looking at my AZ GTI now, which seems to be misbehaving. It looks like moisture's got in there. Um, I've only ever had one other thing go wrong, and I had a small tower PC that I used to have outside in the OBS. It was in a sort of a little cabinet, but it was outside um, when the roof was off and it was imaging, and sometimes the cabinet would be wet and there'd be a lot of moisture about. Well that PC in the end started to misbehave where it wouldn't turn on. And I thought at first it was just the switch, changed that over and it seemed to be okay for a little while but then it went wrong again. And what it actually boiled down to was the motherboard had um, got moisture uh, on it 
and it caused it to fail. And when I had a close look at the motherboard, I could see little areas of corrosion, bits of rust on certain components. So the moisture had definitely got in there. Um, obviously now I've got the warm room office, I'm not going to have that problem because I don't get any moisture in here. So uh, I've just got a little hole in the wall where all the cables go out. So the new uh, motherboard in the mini PC is absolutely fine and uh, won't need me to give it a spray. But anyway, this could be something you could consider. Um, you don't have to do it. It's uh, just something that, for me, it's something I've been thinking about. Um, and after having a few things just not quite go uh, right, and the, it's definitely the moisture that's caused that problem, I've uh, thought about doing something about it. Anyway, I hope uh, that's been of use to you. And as always... Uh, Please take care, and of course, I want to wish you all clear skies. Um, I'd like to get some clear skies myself, to be honest, but anyway, until next time, please take care.